Hello guys and welcome to the channel and today in this short video I'm gonna show you how to restore your default panel look in Adobe Premiere Pro if you have changed it and you decide that you don't like the way you did it and you want to go back to the default settings this is gonna be real simple it's only gonna take you a few seconds so let's go get started it's gonna be super simple and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and click that like button let's go Let's go start our Adobe Premiere. I got it started already here. You have different workspaces here. Like you have learning workspace, you have assembly, editing, color, FX, and, and so on. You have all the panels sorted at certain pattern, but you can always change it. And like you, you can move this window, or if you wanna have more room for, let's say your timeline, you can get this one smaller, or you can even close some panels. Like for example, this metadata is a good useful panel, but it's not used very often. so right click on close this panel and then we can resize this panel as well so let's say you have already made a lot of different changes and then you decide that well it actually doesn't look that great and you want to get back to the same look like it was before and in this case there is a special feature that you can use and it's actually located here if you go to the window and then go to the workspaces and then you just gotta click reset to save layout if you haven't saved changes that you've made it's just gonna reset it to the saved layout and let's go ahead and and click on it right now and as you can see everything is back to the same like it was before so this is great if you have done some changes and you just find like they're not working that great and you just want to go back and start from scratch so this is what they used for on another hand if you do make some changes and you like it the way it is and you want to save it then there is another feature here you can go ahead and go to the window workspaces and then you just gotta click save a new preset let's say I, I want to move this window right here I want to make this one a little bit bigger so so now you go to the window workspaces and then save a new work preset and then you can just call it whatever you like let's say it's gonna be project one and I'm gonna save it so right now we have one preset saved and if we go here go to this workspaces you already have preset one if you want to go back to the same as editing you just go to the window again workspaces and then go to the editing and there you go it goes back to the same thing if you find this helpful please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos in the new videos I'm gonna show you how to best organize your workspace and I'm actually gonna show you right now my favorite workspace layout but but later I'm gonna show it in detail so let's go ahead and see what it looks like so yeah I do have this pulsar tech edit this is my workspace for editing if you click here there you go look at this beautiful place that you have for work editing this is the main space where you're gonna be cutting where you're gonna be chopping all the footages all the clips so you want to make sure you have a lot of room to work with and then as you can see here I have my source monitor here with FX and FX control that's all you need and then you're also gonna get a project and actually the project I like to move it over here to be in this window and then this program monitor is also pretty big so yeah, this is how I like to organize it, but I'll do another video how to best organize your editing workspace. So stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and switch the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.